So today I'm way over here on the Louisiana border in the town of Orange, Texas. Like nearby Beaumont, this town began to develop sometime around the 1830s. It was named Orange after a nearby Orange Grove. This town lies on the eastern boundary of the state and was once a hot spot for outlaws crossing into Texas from the east. And it maintained a reputation for lawlessness for multiple decades. Cotton and lumber were a big part of the economy of Orange in the 1800s, and steamboats came in and out of town during these years. Oil was discovered nearby in 1913, and the town has fluctuated somewhat over the years with the oil industry. But one of the biggest reasons to come to the town of Orange, it has one of the most beautiful historic homes in the entire state, the W.H. Stark House. This was home to William and Miriam Stark and completed in 1894 with the Queen Anne architectural style. This home is 14,000 square feet and has three floors. They made their fortune in the timber, rice, oil, and banking industries. So this is the Stark Museum of Art. A really nice facility for a town this size. This incredible building is the first Presbyterian church. This beautiful building here is the first United Methodist Church built in 1921. So this is the Orange Southern Pacific Train Depot. This was in operation from 1908 to 1974. That was before I was born. I wish I could have lived during the railroad era. Would have loved to have toured the country by a train. There are multiple historical markers here at the park along the Sabine River. Very interesting to read. The Atakapan were native to this area. Just to the southwest was the Karankawas, and then to the north were the Caddo of East Texas. This was a good strategic location nearby. The early boom years of this area were actually in the timber industry. One place you've got to go if you come to Orange is the Shangri-La Botanic Gardens. Look at these beautiful butterflies. This place is beautiful. Wow. What an entrance. Just look at those ferns. Incredible. So this is one of the most humid, jungle-like places in all of Texas. Way over here near the Louisiana border. And so they've really made the most of this ecologic zone of Texas. So beautiful. You probably get about 60 inches of rain per year in this southeasternmost extreme of the state. This looks amazing.
very impressed with this botanic garden and I've been to several. One of the nicer ones I've seen utilizing the natural landscape. Every time I go around another corner, I'm even more impressed by this place. This mysterious building is the old Emma Wallace High School.